In this episode in the lab, we go over business ADHD and why it's such a problem today. Hey, rock stars, I'm JB, expert salesperson and master presenter. I'm the doctor, psychologist, and behavioral expert. This is the Entrepreneur Mastery Lab Podcast. Welcome back to the lab, folks. I'm JB here at JB and the Doctor and Evolve Performance and Development. Super excited to be back at you. Topic of the week and what we want to talk about today is business ADHD. Now, we're all familiar with ADHD and regular people. We know it means that we've got an issue with paying attention. We're easily distracted. Our focus goes all over the place. Really hard for us to concentrate and focus on one thing. Now, business ADHD is a little bit different and in some ways I think is way more common than what we normally consider ADHD. And here's the thing. When I'm talking about business ADHD, what I'm talking about is the problem where business owners generally, they're going out and they are hyperactive, they're overactive, they're trying to squeeze everything they possibly can on their calendar, and it's a real issue. So I want you to picture this. Picture yourself or somebody else you know. They're nonstop, they're always going, they're constantly fighting burnout, and they're at event after event after event. Now, there's one of two possibilities here. One, they have an absolutely unbelievably robust and great team behind them that's following up, that's adding everything into the CRM, that's setting meetings, and that's really making sure that nothing falls through the cracks. Option number two is you've got somebody that you're picturing that's kind of more of a solopreneur or they don't have that they don't have that fundamental business process built out behind them. They don't have the team in place to be able to manage that. And those are the people that aren't adding things to the CRM. They aren't following up. They aren't scheduling meetings and they're letting things fall through the cracks. This to me is what business ADHD is. And it's the biggest threat that I see to so many professionals and business owners out there. And, and it's something that all of us can fall into the habit of doing if we're not careful because we all want to fill our calendars. I have yet to meet a business owner that doesn't want to be busy, 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 producing more and more and more. It's just a natural pattern that business owners and professionals fall into. They want to maximize the return on their time. And often that means if I've got eight hours or 10 hours or 12 hours in a day, I'm going to work, then I want to put in the time and I want to make it effective. The challenge is when we do too much, which we often do, especially in today's culture, there's a big push to do more, more and more. And here's the thing, if we can't effectively follow through on the things that we are doing, we're probably doing too much. And so this is what I really consider business ADHD. When I am filling up my calendar with events, with meetings, and I am not leaving enough time for follow-up. In the financial services world, for example, oftentimes the right appropriate amount of people to meet with is probably only three a day at most. Because you need, if you take an hour to sit down with somebody or 90 minutes, you need an hour in front of that and an hour behind that to correctly capture what you're doing. And if you don't take that time, chances are you're failing to do something correctly in the pregame or you're failing to do something correctly in the postgame. Now, again, if you've got a big team around you and you've got the processes in place, this might not be as much of an issue. But for most of us, we're struggling to get that process and that team behind us or we just don't have the capacity within our business to do it. And so it's all on us. And if that sounds familiar, welcome to Overload and being a business owner, where so much of it falls on our shoulders. But business ADHD is a very, very sneaky challenge because we feel busy. We feel really productive and we're doing a lot. And if the key is the more we do, the more we produce, then we know we just need to do more. And yet oftentimes it's not about doing more. It's about doing less. And this is one of those instances where we should really, as business owners and professionals, we should be taking a look at our calendar. We should be taking a look at our meetings and our events, and we should be looking at them and saying, do I really have scheduled out on my calendar the time to correctly and properly prepare for this and follow up on this? And if I don't, what the heck is the point of the meeting in the first place? What is the point of the activity if I do not have those processes set up? Because I can have the best meeting in the world. I can be the best one-on-one -on -one person there is out there. And if I don't have the correct game plan up front before I actually get into the meeting and I don't have the right follow-up process in place or the right people to follow up, then it almost doesn't matter because all of that goodwill that I earn, all of that benefit of having a great meeting or great one-on-one, -on -one, 
it just disappears on me. This is business ADHD. And this is the problem that I see with so many business owners and professionals today. So if you are struggling to be more productive, if you do not have the capacity to build out a team or you haven't yet built out those processes yet, and you're struggling to produce as much as you'd like to do, I might suggest this. Take a look at your schedule. Look in the mirror. Are you practicing business ADHD? And could you benefit from carving out some more time up front and after your meetings and events to take full advantage of them. So you're not just giving up productivity for the sake of activity. Something to think about, right? I'm JB. This is the Entrepreneur Mastery Lab. Look forward to seeing you next week. Oh, by the way, if you haven't liked, subscribed, followed, you thought it was useful, do us a favor. Give us a like, give us a subscribe, follow, share. We appreciate it. It means a lot to us. Thanks so much.